<coughs> hey, hey, Facebook family, what's happening? Happy Friday to you all. Uh, we're Sydney and Melbourne anyway. I have been um, guided to do this uh, Facebook Live. Um, I think it's been a long time coming and um, and I think it's, it's, it's I feel like today is the day that I've, I've been inspired to do it. So if you guys haven't been following my um, channel or my uh, page for a while, thank you so much. And um, I just want to give a um, shout out to the replay viewers that are watching on this live right now. And if you're coming in, let me know where you're coming from and uh, what um, you know what cities uh, that, you're, that you're, you're watching from, right? So even if you're on replay as well. So I'm just sitting here, about to get my coffee. I'm gonna do my hair today, and um, thank you so much. Thank you. And um, I was just really inspired to come on. I don't normally come on this, this early, but um, I had uh, a few people uh, in the past reached out to me, and um, you know, because I always speak about um, speaking your truth. Hey, Tracy, and um, and people like. Oh, People are like, you know, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean by speaking the truth? Like, what, what does that involve? And um, here's my take on it is, you know, when we're speaking our truth, it's meaning that we're actually valuing ourselves and at the same time, we are not playing small to make someone else feel good, right? So we're not, we're not, because if you look at ourselves like an energy body and that we are all just part of an energy, if we are depleting ourselves, if we are, um, doing things that to elevate someone else's frequency if we are doing things that make other people feel good But we don't feel good that means that we are not speaking our truth Which means that we are not true to ourselves because your real self you would never abandon right? But it is the deep programming that's within ourselves that does not allow us to To, to, to be who we are because we think that we are not good enough Okay, and I have been doing a lot of, um, I, I just feel like since I surrendered to life, which means that I've surrendered to, not I'm out of control, which means I don't have control anymore, but I know that there are two parts of me, which one, there's one which is the higher self, right, which is the one that I came into this life before I became this physical body. And then there's my lower self, which is my human dumbness, which I normally call that, right? <laughs> so the human part of us is the um, is the ego, we normally call it. And what it does is that it can only help us to translate, you know, what it feels like in the physical world. So right now, you know, like in my head, I'm already having the coffee. But the ego and the action is getting me to the coffee shop so that I can enjoy it and experience it once again. Does that make sense? And that's me being true to myself. Um, and I am getting my hair done today is because my true self, like me watering me, me putting myself first and, and valuing me, is that I value my hair. Like I love my hair, um, you know, having uh, like the blonde or, you know, I'm going to get my hair done ash gray today. But what I'm trying to say is that when we speaking our truth, we are clearing our throat chakra, like this, this, this throat chakra that, you know, we, we we're being who else, who we are, what we need, what it is that we want, how we want people to respect us. And it doesn't mean that we're going out there and recklessly, you know, killing other people's lives and, you know, stepping on people and taking advantage of people. No, when you're living from the heart, when you are living from pure love because you love yourself first, you will not do that to other people, right? So when you're speaking your truth is when, when someone is not, um, is, is depleting your soul account, you're gonna cut them off because you know that that is not good for you. But if you keep on giving and you're feeling depleted, then you're not speaking your truth because that is not who you are. You are not here to play small to make someone else feel good. You know, for example, um, I'm started, I started to print on my own shirt. It's because when I print my own shirt, I know the value that I have. I am divinity and not average, and I'm gonna wear that proud. You know, and when we speak our truth, is that our truth is just as good enough as Oprah, it's as good enough as, you know, uh, Les Brown, it's as good enough as Tony Robbins. The reason why we're so attracted to them is because they are speaking their truth. That is what they are about. They are not playing small. They are not because they are glitter and stardust, right? 
So when, so then when I speak my truth and when I wear my shirt and I started selling it, it's because I'm like, why do I have to pay sixty dollars or seventy dollars for someone to, you know, with that brand because they think that it makes me feel important to put on that brand, right? Because that used to be me. I used to have to buy a brand and stuff like that. I have to buy it because. I didn't think that I was good enough. That I need that 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 logo on me to say, "Oh, guys, I am accepted into this society as well." But now that I, I started printing my own shirt, I, that's what I am because that's who I am. That's who behind the shirt. That is who I represent. That is who because my truth is just as good as someone else's, right? Because I do believe that we are divinity and not average. And also at the same time, is that I want to empower people. When people look at that DNA and they. When they see that shirt, they say, wow, that, that the Maggie, that's actually behind that, you know, because, and also, words are vibration. What I'm speaking to you right now, I just feel like I'm just a conduit that, you know, from source or my higher self or my soul, my over soul is speaking to you so that you guys are no longer playing small. You guys are no longer thinking that you have to, you know, not drawing boundaries and depleting yourself to please another people, another person. So my my whole life, like, I, I do believe that we... You know, like whatever I've experienced, hey Scott, um, whatever I've experienced, it was that, you know, I, I never knew what boundaries were, okay? And recently, I stepped into my light. Recently, I realized that, you know, just because someone comes back out of nowhere and then they, you know, because of their boredom or whatever, and I think that I'm, I'm bringing it back to my life. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't make it right. It doesn't make it like you know, like oh, um, like my energy is sacred. Like if you are not real about what you're saying, if you are not speaking your truth, and you're just playing around, fucking around, like I am not. Like I'm done because I value myself. You know, because the speaking your truth also means that you are. You are also valuing yourself and also other people. But what we've been taught in the past is that we need to, you know, kill ourselves. So you know, we need to like sacrifice ourselves, like sacrifice yourself to, you know, to, to, to make someone else feel better, to make someone else feel amazing, or you know, to uh, to work our ass up, sell our soul to make that company successful, right? So when that happened, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna sacrifice the money because I I'm done with disrespecting myself. I am done killing myself over this. And I have a way more important, um, you know, assignment here on earth. And then when I started to realize that and step into my power, and that is the, the truth that's speaking to me, which is my higher self speaking to me, I started to meditate. And then when I realized that my purpose here on this earth is so grand that it made me cry, right? My purpose here on this earth, and it, it makes so much sense is when I had, when I went on Facebook like the other day, you know, it's, it's like because I had to endure all that so that I could transcend and transmute those limiting beliefs, those you know cultural beliefs that uh, that I had, the barriers that was keeping me stuck, and also keeping other people with their own race or whatever stuck because this is what how we were, you know, brought up in the past. And so I'll give you an example. Like when I was growing up, I really was really scared of white people. I was really scared and because straight away in my head these are unspoken words but they were they were programmed into me um, the moment I was born I felt like I was already unworthy because I am not tall I am not white I don't have blonde hair blue eyes I'm short um, so there goes my beauty standards other way um, you know and then also I was born in a uh, third world country so straight away you're like well you know you're not good enough already so all of a sudden the moment I was born it's like why am I even here on this earth and then when I start to speak up recently like you know when I started really speaking, speaking up when I was awakened to the fact that you know there are more things there are more to them that meets the eye I have all these um, Asian that come up to me and say yeah I feel the same way like they would scare white people too. I'm like, why don't you say it out? Why don't you like do something? Like, what do you think? It goes, oh, it's just a normal thing, right? But then when I started to speak to my white friends, right, she had this thing with Asians as well. It's like she, you know, um, you know Hannah McGee. Like we, this is this is the kind of conversations that we speak about. And um, so she said to me, you know, when I was. Um, when, when I was little and I, my dad went to Vietnam War, so I, I just thought, okay, so, you know, they were fighting, the Viet Cong and stuff, and then she went to church one day and she saw all these, like, she somehow, the, that day, she stumbled on that church and there were just all these Asians there, and then she had an epiphany, she's like, oh, God loves Asians too, so 
Is that not being confirmed that it's like what we think and how we've been programmed to treat other people is like this subconsciously that we're picking up that was totally, that is not even like in our, you know, if, not even what we want, but it's just kind of like, we don't know what's running in the back, right? So that's why I do believe that a lot of my insecurities and a lot of my, um, you know, afraid of speaking out my truth or truth, even social in the past was that that was the main big thing is I'm living in a white country and I feel like I don't have the same right as them, right? So speaking your truth, it just means that, you know, you are no longer playing small, you are no longer sacrificing yourself and and that's you know to make someone else feel good okay but that at the same time that's that's what boundaries is boundary is the distance that you can love yourself and the other person at the same time that's what boundaries is and a lot of times you know i just think oh yeah boundary is like i have to you know care about what other people think um no you don't when you say no to something because you it doesn't make you feel good because you feel like you're being taken advantage of then don't worry about what they think because they if you are also teaching them giving them that growth lesson for them to grow as well so for them to reflect back and say what were my actions like because until they lose you until they go wow that was that was that was different like normally i just get other people and i just do all these things and no one i know i don't get repetition you're teaching them to grow into their own greatness as well. It's like treating people like that is no good, okay? But my whole entire life, because of how, where I was growing up, um, I knew why, because I came here to learn all these lessons so that I could collaborate and I could um, integrate that into my being so that now I can speak in my truth and that helping other people here to step into their own power. Right, so my job here is not to make a ton of money. Like I used to think, have this Australian dream, you know, or like just have to, to have some kids and, and that's it. Um, and and I, I, I struggled that for years. And then finally, now that I'm you know, where I am and that I'm happy where I am, I'm like, everything that we have on this journey, on this journey for people life, is never about the destination. It's, it's always a journey. It's, it's like, there is no destination. You know, I thought that when I'm confident, I'm like, I'm done, I'm good, I can do anything. And then when I got confident, because when I start to speak my truth and no longer, you know, playing small and not um, not getting people to, you know, stumble all over me, um, then I'm like, okay, what's next, right? So then you have to understand that wherever you are is exactly what you're meant to be. And until you you get the lessons that you want, you, you need to, to, to learn for your soul to grow, for to, to, to feel that soul account of yours, then you can't move to the next level, which is also, you know, you, I think of um, this life as like a game, right? So it's like you got to go through stage one, stage two, stage three, and then, you know, you go to beast mode, and, and then so then you just, just keep growing, and that's how you grow. And if you look around, because if you get made of the same um, energy that created this world, if you're not growing, you're dying, right? So look at the trees. If, you're not grow if they're not growing, they're dying. So there is no stagnation. The universe doesn't allow that, okay? And your soul does not allow that to happen either. So until you are definitely, you know, honoring yourself, you know, that's what speaking your truth is, honoring yourself, you know, speaking up for what you want and speaking up for what you don't want. It's like no tolerance, right? Um, and at the same time, you don't be afraid to say, this is what I want. This, I am allowed to have a big dream. I am allowed to have a magnificent life. I want to know what unconditional love is. And I think that is a journey I'm on at the moment and I understand now and I'm learning day by day what unconditional love is. Unconditional love is not when you marry somebody and then for, for them to meet your needs. Unconditional love is that you are so, you are made out of love, you are so much love and you just like, you just love the other person for who, or who, for who they are. Because you don't need a condition for you to love them. Because you love you. Because you know you've got flaws. So you know that they've got flaws as well. So when you love yourself and when you are not afraid of being judged because you don't judge yourself, you're then able to give and serve that unconditional love. Rather than, you know, a lot of times when I thought that, you know, getting married is like, oh yeah, I'm lonely, I need someone to, you know, be my company. So then my ex is, has. He, he's like he's still amazing like we are now what happened in my own life at the moment is that we are transcending what divorce looks like transcending what it looks like to have a two separate home but we are just so beautifully you know a beautiful family like everyone around it looks like what don't you don't hate him like you 
like you guys do a talk and you guys hang out every weekend like how does that work you know and you never like i don't ever hear you speaking bad words about him and i i never see him talking bad words about you and how like like so that it makes them rethink right because i grew up with that i grew up with the condition which i hated which was i was stuck in the middle of divorce you know and so was my ex um, so then I said to him, I said, you know, let's do something about it. Let's be the change that we want to see in the world. Let's be the change that we want to see in our kids' lives. That, you know, if we do, and I think that's why we needed to attract each other, so that we could transcend. That's one of the other, um, you know, cultural beliefs that we have, is that, you know, when you divorce and you don't no longer be in each other's lives, you've got to be, like, hating each other. It makes no sense, right? Or, like, you, you play, like, oh, yeah, I'm right and he's always wrong, or she, and I'm right and she's wrong. Um, so that that is exactly what it means by speaking your truth. It's like there is no romantic love here in my life, in our lives, but it doesn't mean that I don't love him anymore. And then it was so scary for me to speak that because it's like, <gasps> what will people think of me? You know, like oh, like we're not married anymore. Like, like, but you love him. Like, how come you don't? Like, what, how does that work? See? So that's what it means. That, but then until you start to do that, you start to realize that you have, can take all your powers back and that you can start be more honest to yourself and you feel like everything is working out for you because the law of attraction the law of attraction is just attracting whatever the energy you're putting out whatever so if you are not honoring yourself and if you are putting yourself down and depleting your soul account guess what you're going to have more of that to 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 play with right but you know here like god did not put you on this earth to play someone else god put you on this earth to play out a role that you need to be in this life which is um, an expression of, of, of God, right? So every single one of us here is like an expression of God that He created it all, it, whatever the source. It wants to experience everything at the same time because everything doesn't have a meaning until the meaning we put into it, and that's our free will. And that's how He was ex like, it experienced or expands as a universe. You know, so if you are doing bad things, you are still serving the universe because it says that gives you another, another person to say I don't want that and then I can change it does that make sense so you are always you are on purpose you are not here as a coincidence nothing in this world is a coincidence have you ever seen the earth spinning around and one day it just stops go oops I forgot I gotta go the other way around no everything is precise and precision so you are here and you have a purpose and your purpose is to speak your truth and express your soul okay that is your only purpose and, and money is just energy and I do believe that money will always come back to those that you know honor themselves because they go this is my value right so I uh, and then I, and that's when I learned that I had a co-independent co codependency um, relationship with money you know and I had to detach myself from all that from a person which are my ex um, you know and, and my kids because I used to define myself it's like oh yeah you know I have to raise these kids well because otherwise I, I'm not worthy you know and it's not it's, it's they have their own lives too. They have their own expression they need to fill out. I don't own them. They are not my masterpiece. They are God's masterpiece. And all I can do is get myself out of the way so that they can be the rainbow children and they can just speak it as the way they want it and you know, and also live it from their heart rather than living from fear and bounded by misery. So I hope that makes sense. Hey Ashley, um, I haven't even had my coffee yet. But um, yeah, I'm really excited that I'm getting back my um, my hair because I feel like I'm so I feel like it's not me because Libra is we're all about beauty, we're all about you know uh, like like looks and you know, like can I can be and stuff like that. So when I look at myself and I'm like when I look at myself with that with that blonde girl with that ash grey girl with hair, I feel like it's me. I feel like I'm home, you know. And that's when I'm like you know I don't. I don't care what people think of me. Like you might think I'm vain. Okay, everyone is is, is um, entitled to their own judgment, right? But I have learned to know what I want and what I need. Okay, my need is to be fully self-expressed. And for me, this is not my fully self-expressed. Me looking daggy is not fully self-expressed because I feel trapped. I feel like I'm not like using that creativity, that energy for someone, like for purpose, right? So then I will, you know, instead of me spending a lot of money on brands and stuff, I started to put that up on me. So it depends, it's like whatever you value it. The funny thing is, the other day I, um, so I, I took every moment, it's almost like a lesson for me to learn and grow. I walk past and um, see, I used to buy shit like this. <laughs> um, but I have this, this wallet for, 
um, six years already, so I'm very proud. Um, I haven't watched one since. Um, so I saw a girl walking down the street and she was wearing a, um, a, a Yves Saint Laurent um, uh, bag. And I was like, oh, that's nice, right? And then I was like, oh, but it's not worth it. It's not. And then I was like, oh, I caught myself out. I'm like, wow, I don't value that 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 bag as the way I used to because I'll be like in the past like oh how much is that you know a few grand hmm how, how am I gonna get a few grand you know like and then all of a sudden I'm like wow I don't value those things anymore you know I'm like oh that's nice but if I had like you know a spare change like I would definitely go buy it but I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna like sell my soul or like get another job for me to go and, and buy this because I used to hang out with people that would spend all their month's salary to buy a bag that looks amazing with no money in it right because again that's an insecurity and you have to understand that when you are awakened you, you what it means is that you are waking up to the fact that you don't need an external thing to determine who you are to, to for you to say that's you know, accepting their truth it's your truth even though you feel shit inside you are not born in this life to feel shit so you have to start to understand that and start to go within rather than without okay I hope that makes a lot of sense um, I feel like this message was channeled to me I felt like you know um, every single time when I have a thought it's like you need to get a, you need to get on and, and, and share this with the world and that's all I dedicate my life to you know is to uh, whatever that I get out of my wisdom because I feel like if I can help somebody, somebody with that then I would I, I, I would do that right and um, so I am I have surrendered to life and when you surrender to the flow of life your life flows because you are no longer in struggle mode no longer have to like put it in and put a motor in and then try to you know um, paddle yourself upstream right so all my life is downstream and everything just working out so well for me um, of course there's gonna be hiccups on the way but I don't even see those hiccups as hiccups because it's like Every, every part of your reality is happening at the moment and how you're shifting from one reality to the next. Like every, every version of you is happening right now. But for you to get to one, like to experience that reality of um, the next best version of you, there's lessons for you that you need to learn. And lessons come with resistance, right? And if you are resisting against whatever it is that you are meant to grow and you need the lessons for it, then you can't grow. That's why you can feel shitty about yourself. So then what, when you feel shitty about yourself, you accept someone else as the easy way out to say oh yeah do this and you feel better but have you ever thought of you know every single time when you ask somebody for advice they never there's not one unanimous answer it's always like you need to do this but you need to do this now no you don't do this do this but you know you don't. like it's all over the shop right because they don't know what's what you have created within this vortex of yours like this thing that you put out into the universe every single time that you don't like something or you like something does that make sense and all of your experience that you accumulated they they have they never lift it so you have to be comfortable with dancing to your feet of your own drum i beat my own drum every single day because i know that it's only me that can be, make me happy it's no one else and I can't wait until you know I meet my work man so that I we could just like just really play like in the world. You know what I mean? Like I crave that. Um, it's fun playing by yourself and you know doing things and I get on the swing and I do all these things. But like it would be so much more amazing if you both just you know like, share it with somebody else, right? So now I'm like I just want to share now. It's no longer it's like oh, I need someone to fill my my cup because I'm so like empty and depleted. It's like I'm so full now. I need I want to share it who's coming with me and I'm not gonna allow another person to come if they got to come and just take all my my, my energy and, and not water it not not kind of like I water you you water me oh look the plants are back um, energy does that make sense because I value myself as much so I'm I'm not gonna tolerate someone else that doesn't value me but at the same time I want that person to value themselves so, because otherwise their cup wouldn't be full does that make sense so I hope that um, you know I brought some kind of value into your life today and uh, I can't wait and I, I'll show some photos like when I um, when I like when I do my hair because it's gonna take me probably about uh, six to seven hours to do my hair <laughs> but I love it like I get to uh, hang out with my hairdresser I've been going there since my hair was this long and she keep like chopping it up and um, I just see my friend here so I'm gonna go sit to her so um, I love you all 
and have an amazing day and always speak your truth, okay? Some of the steps you can do, oh, I forgot to tell you, some of the steps you can do to um, help to start speaking your truth is that, you know, every single time when you feel like a resistant of um, saying this, what it is that you want or what it is that you, um, that you don't like, like, stick with that. Go home and stick with that and say, why don't I want to speak it up? And work through every, like, just tiny little steps at the time. You know, don't try to over, don't try to um, over, over analyze it. You want to come on live, Facebook live? Okay. Um, but, you know, like meditation, meditation has been a tool that absolutely changed my life because it allowed me to tap into who I am on the inside, my soul, my higher self, and, you know, to know what my purpose is, like all of that stuff. Like everything that I transmuted is because I meditate and because I always look within and never without. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to me and um, I love you all. Take care. Mwah.